My name's Honey. Welcome to Spike with a Dyke. This is a little YouTube series where I style a wig and I talk about a topic. Today's topic hits close to home because it's something I end up doing from time to time. It is the dreaded con crunch. If you're watching this during a con crunch, I'm gonna help you. I believe in you. You've got this. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some tips. Con crunches can be rough. If you're listening to me and you're like, what is a con crunch? Let me explain it to you now. So basically, also, um, I'm sliding a wig commission at the moment. My commissions are open. Oh my God, really? In no way. So yeah, um, my commissions are open. Anyways, what a con crunch is, is it's the period of time before a convention. Typically, the last couple of weeks, basically you've left everything to last minute and you've got to quickly crunch, get down, get ready, finish everything in time for the con. Okay. What you're going to do if you find yourself in a con crunch is you've got to make yourself a game plan. You take all the cosplays that you're thinking of doing. If you don't have a lineup already, if you do have a lineup already, that's great. But basically, you look at all the cosplays you're thinking of doing, write down all the tasks, all the things you need to buy, like everything you would need to do to complete this cosplay. You look at them all, judging by the amount of time, can you do them all well? You gotta look at whether some sacrifices have to be made. Sometimes you might not be able to fully complete the character's costume. Maybe you've got to not do a specific little thing like leave out his gloves or you've got to sacrifice that little prop that you were going to make but you do not have time to do anymore. You're going to delegate time. You're going to do each task for each cosplay. Usually the first time you do something, it's gonna take longer. So you gotta delegate some time for that as well. You're gonna look up the time you have left until your convention, and you're gonna figure out when you're gonna do what. I know it's a stressful period of time. No cosplay is worth your sanity, okay? So you're gonna make sure you're drinking your water, you're eating your meals. I know when you're very like focused, on a task or you're focused on finishing a certain thing you can forget about drinking water and having food i get that like when i'm really focused on like doing a wig or something i like time will pass and i'll just like not realize i haven't eaten all day or something like that you're still drinking your water you're still looking after yourself you're getting some sleep if you can so you have more energy for your crunch so it's a win-win. In a perfect world, right, you would <laughs> order your things on time and you'd start your cosplays months in advance, but sometimes you just procrastinate. That's okay. To avoid con crunching in the future, make sure you're ordering your stuff way in advance if you can. So when the convention comes around, there's no stress. Cons can be a stressful time if you're leaving everything to the last minute, but you are just doing cons and dressing up as your silly characters for fun. But it's just a hobby. Chill out, take a breath. You got this. I feel like this video is a little bit short today. So I'm gonna add in a little story from my last convention about my con crunch. My last con crunch was horrific. I left everything to the last minute. It was a three day con and I had definitely two cosplays that I wanted to take. But one of them wasn't done and I wasn't sure whether I was going to take it. And the other one I had no idea what I was taking. I ended up pulling an all lighter the night before because I decided to go to a concert the night before travelling. From about midnight when I got back to about six o'clock i spent the entire time con crunching frantically and then i slept from six o'clock to twelve o'clock around one o'clock i frantically packed my bags frantically put my cosplays together and then at like two o'clock i was on the train it was 
I didn't think I was gonna make it. It's definitely the most like hardcore con crunching moment ever. It was just the whole week leading up to it was chaotic. That last push, was it worth it? Probably not. Honestly, I probably should have just changed cosplays. And hopefully, this convention, I avoid a con crunch. I feel like con crunches are inevitable. We've all got busy lives and that. If you find yourself in that horrible con crunch position, just don't be too hard on yourself. Take your time. Remember you're there to enjoy the con. So if you can't fix your prop in time, if you can't glue your feathers on quick enough, that's okay. A lot of things that seem like a big deal to you in your cosplay it probably isn't a big deal when someone else is looking at it because they'll probably not even notice that small detail that you weren't able to do. And I probably will con crunch again and I'll look back at this video and be like, I can't believe you're trying to give people advice on a con crunch when it's literally all you do, babes. It's literally all you do. So yeah, I forgot what I was saying. I lost my train of thought because I've been brushing out this floofy, floofiness. I wish you all the best of luck, those who are crunching right now. Go drink some water for me. I just stab myself with the comb. Thanks for watching this little episode of Spike with a Dyke. If this is your first time watching the show, I do have one other episode. If you want to check out last week's episode, I'm going to link it below. That would really help me out if you give that a little like. Give this one a little like. Bye!